Leo. Welcome to your love reading. I'm going to take a look at uh, energies of the person on your mind. What are their thoughts, emotions, and desired outcome with you? Uh, but I'm going to start out by picking up what is the current energy between you and this person. So let's see. What is the energy between Leo and their person currently? Three cards, please. The first one, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, luck is on your side, Leo. I think things are going well, but let me wait for the other two cards. Justice, amazing. Libra energy. Wheel of Fortune has all the four fixed signs. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And we've got the High Priestess. Ooh, pulling all three major arcanas, which are big energies in the tarot. But five of swords at the bottom of the deck. What's happening? Queen of Swords underneath that. Ace of Cups and Chariot. Wow, with the Hierophant underneath. What's going on, Leo? Wow. Okay, so I, I mean, I thought all the cards were pretty positive with the Wheel, Justice, and High Priestess. But then you surprised me with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something you're conflicted about, even though I think you know intuitively that, you know, luck is on your side, things are going the way they are supposed to. Uh, there is balance in this situation, there is justice in this situation. And you are, maybe you need to trust your gut a little bit more. Because when I see the Five of Swords with the High Priestess, sometimes it's just that your gut is telling you one thing, uh, but you're overriding it maybe with your rational, like brain, mind, whatever. And that is leading to some internal conflict. But let's get you some clarifiers. I'm interested. I'm curious. What's going on, Leo? And just a gentle reminder, if this video resonates, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. Okay, so let's check in and see why is the wheel here? Why is the wheel here for Leo and the person on their mind? Okay, you've got the Page of Cups, Justice. Why is Justice here? Oh, they're giving me two cards, two of wands and the seven of wands. Someone's being a bit defensive. High Priestess. High Priestess. The Queen of Cups. Oof. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I think some of you are kind of pushing this relationship away is the phrase that I'm hearing. Like maybe someone's come in and kind of expressed their uh, feelings and emotions to you. They've been pretty open about how they feel or how you make them feel. But, you know, you've and you've kind of been waiting also for this person to open up. And now that they have, I think you're, you've kind of got your guard up and you've kind of pushed this love offer away. But your gut is telling you that, Leo, you also have feelings for this person. But for some reason, you've pushed them away. Okay, what is the seven of wands? What is Leo so defensive about? Let's see. Let's see, Leo. High Priestess again. Okay, you're really fighting off your intuition on something. Um, okay, you know, I can't make this up. Uh, you can go back and watch all my Leo readings, but I've been sort of saying this in the last, I don't know how many readings that this is somebody that you work with. Your gut is telling you to work on this and this could be a very significant connection. You could one day be married to this person, but look, once again, you've got the five of swords at the bottom of this deck as well. So you know all of this. I feel like this is a, you know, heart versus mind kind of push and pull kind of decision. Like you are, you know what you feel for this person. You know, it's mutual, you know, the energy, but um, there's some reason why like you are not opening up to it. Okay, so the person on your mind, let's see what are their thoughts, feelings and outcome that they desire with you. So the person on Leo's mind, what are their thoughts on this connection? Hierophant, ooh. They want something stable, something long-term. They probably see you as somebody that they could marry one day. What are their feelings? Page of wands. They're very playful and childlike. They want to have fun. They want to like, you know, like those people who just want to play pranks and like make you laugh and happy-go-lucky. I like their energy. What is the outcome that this person desires with you? Ooh, they want victory. Six of wands. But they're also up in their head about this. Eight of swords. Because I guess you're not giving them much to work with. And I really um, kind of pick up on this energy that somebody has recently kind of come out and told you um, like what they feel for you. I think they've been pretty open emotionally and like they've kind of confessed. Um, okay, let's see what this person wants to say to you, Leo. I'm using the Hidden Truth Oracle. So what does this person want to say 
to Leo. It says, you let me down. Yeah, so I think maybe they really mustered up the courage to open up to you and tell you what they feel for you. And they didn't really get the reaction from you that they were hoping for. I know that I crossed the line with you and maybe now they feel, oh, maybe I shouldn't have opened up and shared all of this. So um, I don't know why this happened. Okay. And I'm recovering. So I think this person is feeling quite upset with the reaction that they did not receive from you. And now they're wondering if they've crossed the line with you, maybe because you guys work together or maybe because there's some other obstacle um, to this connection. Let's see. Okay, let's see what the romance angels have for you. Leo and the person on their mind. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I think you've been kind of fighting your intuition on something. I was feeling that uh, it might be beneficial for you to tap into your gut and see what it has to say. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. This feels like a significant connection. Like you also feel a very strong pull towards this person. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So you could have some common friends and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. I didn't say it, but the card did. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what the angel answers have for you. And look, these are general readings. So they're not going to resonate with all Leo's watching, but hopefully it's given you at least one or two important insights on the person on your mind. We've got big, happy changes. Yay, I like that for you. I have a feeling that a lot of Leos will slowly, slowly start to tap into their intuition, start to investigate this energy a little bit more. And we've got romance. Romance is in the air, Leo, whether you like it or not. And it says within the next few months. So this could be quite significant. So it could be a turning point in this relationship and this connection. Maybe you do decide to open up to this person, but we don't see it happening immediately. We definitely don't see it happening right now, but maybe within the next few months, the, uh, sorry, within the next few months. Wow. Completely lost my voice there. So I almost feel like, you know, there's something you want to say, but you can't say like how my throat chakra completely got blocked. Uh, so that could be a sign for someone that there is something that's almost like, you know, like you almost want to say it, but you're holding yourself back. Uh, your gut is telling you, say it, Leo, just go out and say it, but you're holding yourself back. But I think within the next few months, this energy might shift for you. So that's what I have for you, Leo. If this resonated, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.